I'm with Kalia Clark, who is the Green Party's candidate for the U.S. Senate, running against uh, incumbent Democratic candidate Charles Schumer. Um, Coley, what are you doing here today? Well, I'm here today because one of a uh, few great women I know uh, is coming in here today uh, to be sentenced for a crime that she has not committed. She's been sentenced because of the cruelty and the inhumanity of a system that will not allow her to practice her profession, which is law. In her case, she defended clients and most lawyers either did not see fit to take or would not take. Lynn Stewart is being tried, is such an injustice being tried, is such an injustice, such a violation of attorney-client privilege. The First Amendment has just been trashed in this country, along with most of the Constitution. But certainly, we can see evidence of it here today. And I'm here today because I'm running for the Senate. I will be standing on the Constitution, this principles, and I certainly will be looking at the issue of client attorney privilege and how it's been trashed in the United States. And Lynn Stewart is the primary example a woman who had the tenacity and the bold audacity to defend a Muslim, an African Muslim at that, of a crime that he said he did not commit. And in either case, it's her job as the attorney to give him the best defense possible. What hurts my heart is that it's also the job of the judge in the court to make sure that the attorney-client privilege is not only protected, but that the client is given every possible chance to show the world, to prove before the court, that the client is not guilty of the crime. There is supposedly a presumption of innocence in the United States that dates back to the uh, old English law, back to before the Magna Carta. This is an unusual situation now, uh, the condition that exists in the United States? Well, it's not only unusual, this presumption of innocence. The United States has millions of people behind bars, and the numbers are not decreasing, they're increasing. Many of them for trivialities, like men, you know, some minor infraction at best, but an infraction on behalf of a client. Um, so to presume that automatically a person based on their religion, based on their ethnicity or racial background, is guilty, is common in the United States. I spoke with a young man yesterday from Hempstead who spent three years in jail for a crime he absolutely says he did not commit. But his court appointed attorney told him it is not wise to tell the judge that you're innocent. If you do, you'll get more time. So say you're guilty. Plea bargain. Take the three years. And the young man did. And he has been he's very bitter, been very hurt by it, and has very little faith in the system. We can't have that. We have to understand that attorneys are in fact national defense issues in the sense that they are the one area where people have confidence that I can come into the court, that I can stand before the judge, but I will have somebody here with me who will advise me, who will walk me through this, who will hold my hand, who will see after my family and my affairs. That's what people need to believe. But if we've come to a time in the United States history when people have no faith that the attorney, the attorney won't be thrown in jail with them on a minor infraction. And it's time that we as the people, the people of the United States revisit Thomas Jefferson and I think we need to do that. You know, the uh, very uh, nature of the attorney-client relationship is at the core of this case. And the membership in just the New York City Bar Association alone numbers in the thousands, and the State Bar Association in the tens of thousands, and in the American Bar Association much larger. Yet, so far, the crowd that's assembled here is two, three hundred people, most of them not lawyers. What does it say about the fact that attorneys having the nature of their profession changed around this case are not here? Well, I think we need to look at Tara. Attorneys, like all of us, have to support their families. And if Lynn Stewart can be thrown in jail, why not them? 
We're looking now at a woman who has been brought up in this way, but other there are millions of ways, I'm sure, to figure out to debar people when you are an illegal court carrying out injustices against the people and against their attorneys. So here I stand. I stand here uh, to let men know that when I'm present, but to let America know that I will always be present on behalf of those who are the underdogs, those who for no reason are being abused and mistreated. And I will also stand for those who have cause, who have cause, who have been created, committed crimes, but they also must be tried before the court fairly and justly, and there should be no presumption of anything. They must be tried fairly and justly, and we must defend the right to be heard. We must defend the 14th Amendment due process and equal protection of the law. That's our job. That's the job of everyone. But as a person who is interested in the Senate, that is for me a primary job. To make sure that the Constitution is not folded, dropped in water, and tossed in the toilet. Also, because I'm here for a woman, there's another great woman in Georgia who I know is fighting um, everything she had, everything within her, Cynthia McKinney, she tossed out of the Congress, also abused and mistreated. And I understand that her father uh, is very ill and is on perhaps the last leg of his journey in this life. So here again is a sister who needs our support. Women are important to me. I am a woman. I am a woman. Ben Stewart is in jail with breast cancer, cancer of the breast. Tie her down after operations. Tie her down to her bed. How do you do this to a human being? How do you do this to a sister and a woman? Don, I am, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. And it's not good not to have me not happy. Because I'm gonna organize every woman and girl I can find to let them know that you as women and girls in this country are in danger, in danger from the very criminal justice system that is supposed to defend. Thank you. Thank you.